How many of you here are in the human potential business? Yeah. Our job is to go out and speak to audiences and to motivate and help them achieve their goals. And this morning, I want to shake up your concept, your idea of what your own potential to unleash their potential can be. I want to do it by sharing a story with you about an experience that I had that shattered any concept that I had of what my own potential was. This is a story about the extraordinary power of living in the present. Being present free of thoughts, worries, frets, or regrets. I was taking an eight-week course in Massachusetts full-time, and this was the fifth week of the course. And that morning, my instructor walked in and said, I've got our instruction manual here today. And of course, that immediately piqued our interest because we had never had an instruction manual up to that point in time. And then without further ado, he pulled the manual out of the envelope. It was a telephone book. And then he began to read it. <clears throat> Anti Jaja, four six two third line, eight two seven five seven eight seven. Sasha Zekic, twelve forty seven Grange, eight four two five eight five eight. M Ziadic, twenty twenty Peak Place, eight four five five one six six. For a solid hour, he read the phone book. At the end of the hour, I started to get a little bored. <laughs> and I looked over at a classmate and rolled my eyes. And at that very second, he said, John, what was that last phone number I just said? And I felt like a kid with my hand caught in the cookie jar. <laughs> and I racked my brain for a minute. Nothing. So I said, I don't know. And for that second hour, he continued to read the phone book, <laughs> asking every couple of minutes somebody, what was that name? What was that address? What was that phone number I just read just two, three seconds ago? At the end of the second hour, to my, uh, all of our amazement, he had had somebody at the back keeping track of the score. The average score, in terms of correct answers to the question, was 1 out of 10. The class genius was a doctor from Boston, and she got 3 out of 10. Then he really blew us away. He had tape recorded that second hour. He flicked on the tape machine and began to replay the second hour, <laughs> turning down the volume whenever the answer came up. Now, at this point, we know the questions, we know the order, we know exactly what's going to happen. Do you think we got any better scores? Not one bit. In the fourth hour, he made it a little more interesting. <laughs> he began to read the phone numbers if it was a seven-digit number. 9,454,211. Then came lunch. At this point, we are all frustrated, angry, wondering, what the heck is this guy doing? But we'd had four weeks with him, so all of us decided we're going to trust him. So we went back, and in the fifth hour, he opened the phone book, and he began to read the phone book. <laughs> By this point in time, I started to become very aware of the thoughts going in my mind. And I could see that he would say the name, and I would begin to try to memorize it. And then as I was trying to memorize it, he'd say the address. Of course, then I'd try to grab that address and memorize that. Then out would come the phone number. And there was, if I tried to get the phone number, for sure I would lose either one or both of the name and the address. I began to realize that it was impossible for me to memorize all three pieces of that information, even though it only was 10 seconds in length. So in the sixth hour, I gave up. And he continued to read the phone book. And then he came to, it became my turn again. He said, and the second that he called my name, I knew I did not know the answer. I had stopped trying. I hadn't escaped. I hadn't gone into 
left the room or started daydreaming, I had just stopped everything. My brain was in neutral. The moment he asked me the question, John, what was that phone number? A number appeared in my head. And without hesitation, I said it. 525-1162. He said, that's right. Where did that come from? I had no idea. I was absolutely certain. I did not have the answer. I started to notice other people were having the same experience. He came back to me again, asking me an address. Again, I knew I did not know the answer. And in that very moment, an answer appeared in my head. I said it. He said, that's right. You've got it. He said. So what did I get? I got the experience of the enormous potential within me when, by being fully present. That same potential exists in each and every one of you. When you're fully present as speakers and you're on this platform speaking, you are in a state of total self-trust. You are trusting that the words that you need will appear right when you need them, and that they will be the right words at that moment in time. And when you do that, your full potential is completely unleashed. You are, your ability to invigorate and passion and entertain the audience that you are standing in front of is fully unleashed. As speakers, we are paid to help our audiences achieve their potential. When you are fully present, you are unleashing your potential, and you can walk off this stage totally confident that you have given them everything 